What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another adventure. We are out here. Well, I mean we, of course, me and Alana. Hi. Which looks amazing today. And we're going to a place called Drill Plantation, which is supposed to be like a old like historical historicals, you know, plantation. Uh, yeah, plantation and they unfortunately kept slaves and stuff like that. I don't really condone that stuff, but still gonna go check it out. But uh, I figured I'd get the camera out because, like, we are on this like really remote road, and I still got two miles to drive on this road. It's like rarely travel, but we are like way out. Here. This road's so narrow, if somebody was to come from the other way, somebody'd have to do some backing up for a mile or two. At least until you found a spot where you could back off into without getting stuck. Sure is nice out here though. But I'm not gonna film too much of this because I know that we have a lot to film when we get there and I don't want the video to be too extremely long, so we're going to keep driving wherever in the heck we are. I um, almost feel like this road's about to come to a dead end or something. But, uh, ooh. That tree was like... <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We have to turn around. And go back the other way. Great go all, all the way back to We the have Franco. to go all the way back. <laughs> oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. Is it? No, it's okay. locked. It's locked. <sighs> <laughs> I've driven like five miles already. So, I'm a bit irritated right now. But at least we got good scenery. But yeah, I've got to turn all the way back around go all the way back. No, it's m probably more than five miles. Yeah. It's probably around ten miles. So, I'll probably see y'all in about an hour. All right, guys, we made it, finally, after like a really long drive back around, already paid, and we're about to go on the self-guided tour, so can't be any more perfect. Oh, shit, I didn't, I might need to go back to the van. All right because I don't think I kept that receipt and I might need it. Yeah, I gotta go back to the van. I put it on a charge in the van. I got a quick charger in the van. I've almost got 100% now, I think. It's either like 80 something. Yeah, it's 82. Mission be required beyond this point. Yeah. That's why I wanted to, uh, you know, Oh my lord, look at this place. It is a self-guided tour. It's awesome. 
smoking prohibited. Good thing I don't smoke no more. Herbs. Hey, look at that. That's what it says, herbs. Yeah, I know. That's pretty cool. You have your camera on, right? Yeah, camera's on. Of course, of course, guys, I'm not going to uh, read that, but if y'all want to pause and read, go right ahead. You go to hold it down and come out here. Is it under the trap? Mm hmm. Well, some of them looks like you can't. You can't go in that one, I don't think. That's no outhouse, yep. That's pretty dang um, neat. Multiple seats and everything. Those people are looking at me funny. What is he feeling? Oh, there's nice. three. This was a three-seater. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I thought there wasn't a door, but there is a door. I couldn't imagine uh, having a poop next to someone that close. So hey buddy, can you pass me the TP? <laughs> so weird. Non potable water. Non potable. Potable. That means it's gotta be like bold or whatever. I said portable. <laughs> I, I just glanced at the word. <laughs> Didn't even read it. Oh barn. Yeah, I see why you can't go in there. Yeah, There's no yeah. floor. Oh. oh, there's animals in there. That's why. Duh. Chicken house. Smoke cow. Oh. I see. The middle hole is for the child. There's a freaking chicken in there. Yeah. There's a couple of them in here. Yeah, I know. I saw the animals over there. Chicken house. This stuff's really well preserved. To be from the early 1800s. Yeah, and then I got some animals over here in this old barn. It's pretty neat. Oh, there's the main house. I think they said that was a bed and breakfast. Nice. That's a pretty old house. That's I'd be like, nice to do the bed and breakfast there. Yeah. See if any ghosts visit you in the night. Yeah, I wouldn't mind staying there. I wonder how much it is a night. That's a really nice house. Usually bed and breakfasts are cheaper than you know, hotels. We, we should check into that. See yeah, how much it costs. Yeah, just to stay there for a night. And do like a little ghost for the night around. I think they said it is a bed and breakfast. Check it out. Yeah. Oh. That'd be pretty neat to do, guys. I've never done one of those. Just, you know, stay overnight and film the place. And, you know, I'm sure they'd let me. I paid for it. I'll have to confirm before I even try it, but yeah. That house in the very back back there, that one, is the one I paid at. So, that's why it looks newer. Look in here. Yeah, I am. I'm just getting the outside first. That old house down there looks cool. I think we can go in that one. Oh yeah. Little bird house. Yeah, I think we can go in those. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit all this on one video. This might be a, a two or three part video, so I don't know yet. We're going to find out. 
Yeah, we can go in these places. Oh, this place is awesome. Some of them, we can go in that. Though. I know, but I look, we can go in that house. Yeah. That is awesome. And, and yeah, guys, I'm taking my time because there's people in front of me and I don't want to disturb their, um, you know, their walkthrough. So that's the house they're in right now. Yeah, there's a loft in there. Let me uh, see there's some stairs there, guys. Old built stairs. All the old jugs. And all the old equipment, old bench, old work table, a couple buckets and baskets, and hooks on the ceiling. I wonder if this was like a this was a meat house, guys. This is where they'd store food. Had to have, had to be. Probably where they butchered stuff too. That's probably a butchering table. This place is beautiful out here. Oh yeah. Watch it because once you get close to the rocks, it's soft. The ground is soft like it'll give away. Beautiful out here. There's more houses down there, and there's a sawmill here too, somewhere. Looks like my, that might have been like a shower area or something, maybe, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know how they would even make a shower back then, but their technology was more than people would think back then. Can you see how the house is put up? Yeah. Yeah. That's how they did stuff back in the day. Set it up on uh, limestone. I think that's limestone. I'm not really extremely knowledgeable about this stuff, guys. So, if I'm wrong, let me know I'm wrong. I'm open to criticism. Just don't be rude. This old house, though. Yeah. Walk around the perimeter and let y'all see it. I think they're out. We can start walking through. I want to make sure. I don't want. I don't want to just. Okay. I didn't want to disturb their. Uh, their little tour too. I'm not a. Uh, I try to be respectful the most I can. That's a cool looking old place though. That chimney don't look very old though. It looks like it might have been replaced. Because you would think it'd be that old flat rock all the way up. Kitchen and table still set up. That's cool. I love those old walls. Get the old doorknob and door. Look how Look. thin that door is. Look. Mm-hmm. supposed to be open stuff. <laughs> well, I don't see any signs saying we can. Yeah, I guess you're right. Old wood burning stove.
Oh, I love those old lanterns. We have some all glass ones at home, but those are the really old ones. There's a bed this way. Even got all wood in here. That's cool. Ooh, look at that doorknob. Probably can go around this way because it looks like there's another room in there. But look at that bed. Mm -hmm. And the fireplace. I think if you were allowed to go in there that this wouldn't be blocked off. There might be another door over here. There might be. I hope there is. I'd like to go in there. <laughs> look at this old room. Hold on. This is cool, guys. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. And I don't see anybody commenting, so it's not that hard. Talk to me. Let me know what y'all think of these places. Give me some ideas on some stuff. Alright. Oh, wow. It's like an old witch's broom. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Oh yeah, there's not another door. That sucks. This is the back side of the place. It's like a nice little room. I'm gonna turn my lights on. Sorry guys, my hand's in the way. I'm trying to get y'all be able to see that in there. Got another bed. Let's see what I can get from the front window. Yeah, there we go. Old chest. I kind of understand why they have some of this blocked off. There is this door. This is not the same one. Oh, yeah. I can kind of walk in here. Cool. which grew to include 12 children. Wow. This place is neat. I couldn't even see that baby here. one over there before. Oh, that freaking lantern is awesome. Guys. It's a mason jar. That is neat. Mm -hmm. That's like some rustic stuff right there. I'd love to have that in my room. These are the types that we have at home, guys. The ones on the mantel. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, those are the types I have. I have like five of them. There's another one over there. That was pure form of light back in the day. They didn't have electricity. Hold on. Out of the <laughs> you ain't scared of chickens, are you? No. But they're... I love some chickens. I used to raise chickens. Chickens are cool. I don't care what anybody says. Chickens are cool. I like chickens. And they're pretty good to eat, but... Chickens are cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a farm, babe. That's kind of what they do. 
so rustic. That'd be so cool staying there for a night. Oh yeah, we're probably gonna look into it. Look at that old doorknob. Back in the day right there. Corbin. That's old stuff. Neat, neat old stuff. I see the sawmill. I see the sawmill. It's right down there. Yep, sure is. Yeah. Hey, do me a favor so I don't have to take my bag off. God, I got somebody to help me now. I ain't got to do all this crap alone. Give him a drink out for me. Thank you. It's nice having help. Huh? I said it's nice having help. <laughs> That'd be so cool to stay there. Especially in the middle of the night. It has sucked doing this alone. It's finally nice to have somebody to do it with. All right. You hold it for me or you put it back? Put it back. <laughs> How'd you get them in here? I wedged them. Okay, there we go. All right. So here's an up close of the bed and breakfast that's here on the property. We are going to check in to stay in there, guys. Because we both want to. And uh, I think it'd make a good video. So let me know down in the comments what you think. Oh, there's a house up here. Heck yeah. This is a well shelter. I bet Syrup just... furnace. Here, I'm not going to read all this, guys. I've got a lot of filming to do, so pause it, read it. You're more than welcome. That's why I film these signs for you guys. That way you can, you know, pause it and read it. This is the old well. I love old wheels. Something about them just intrigued me about how deep and just freaky they are. Yeah. Uh... Yep. I'm sorry about the jerking, guys. There ain't no telling how deep that thing is. This thing has water, so does that thing. But as y'all see, they got like pans and pails up there, whole water and stuff. That's really cool. I love the old way of life. Such a simpler time. People weren't so fast paced and unappreciative and stuff. They enjoyed the small things in life. It looks like they cooked something right here. Yep. There's a fire pit right here underneath. Yep. That is a brick oven. In a place for them to heat up big batches of. Actually, you know what that probably was, babe? Yeah. That was probably the bath. The bath? Mm hmm. It's probably where they heated up their bath water. What the heck is that falling over there? That that's what? That's a squirrel. That's a squirrel. Oh, yeah. That's probably just stuff falling out of trees. It's a squirrel right there. Oh. <laughs> Just not even caring. I like squirrels though. Until they start chewing in inside of your house and crap. Looks like we could have went up that way too. Yeah, I don't want to walk. I want to take the trails. I try not to tear up anything that I don't have to. Look at this. Man. <laughs> it is so cool out through here. Just look through the woods and you can see the places down there. I mean, barely, but. I would love to have lived up here. I 
Oh, you can go down here too. Oh yeah, we'll probably take that way. Yeah, that's the way it leads down to the sawmill. We're definitely getting our exercise in. Yep. Ooh. Can you go in this house? It's so nice. Yeah, it is. So I'm already at 20 minutes, so after we leave this house, part two. 1847 house. We can go in. Mm. You want to check that out first though? Yeah. Smoke house. Flower pit. Look in the front yard for a board covered flower pit. Hmm. There's a boat in here. Uh oh. I like boats. I like boats a lot. Oh, that is neat. Come on, guys. I'm turning some light for y'all. It's hard to walk in here. It's a good thing you're short. Huh? It's a good thing you're short. Look at my head. <laughs> yeah, I just bent down under a little bit. I'd close mine myself in here at night. Just, ah, it hurt. It'd be bad. Where are you coming over here, though, to this boat? Oh, yeah, I'm about to come over there. I'm just, you know, filming the way they built this place. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Water would definitely get in, though. Oh, man. Oh, no, you could seal that off. You could make that work. That's pretty daggum mm -hmm. neat right there. Oh, and look at the old oars. Uh-huh. That is awesome. I love antique stuff and I love a boat. You give me antique boats and we're just this perfect. My boat's a 1968 Sears and Roebuck. That thing is old. Everybody's like, you shouldn't keep that boat. It's a piece of junk. Uh-uh. I'm restoring it. I don't care how much it's worth. A 1968 Sears and Roebuck, you don't see those anymore at all. If you do, it's rare. And that's a pretty nice boat too, so. Who in the heck is texting me right now? It's probably Dennis. So one of these places is a slave house. It says right here. Behind the smokehouse across a road is Maddie's cow shed. And it says a slave house called the Muri house once stood to its right. Yeah, I'd paused on that, uh, and let, you know, I didn't pause, I filmed it, and they can read it. Yeah, Area closed, that is, uh, outhouses, back there, it says the rest. No, those, those gotta be outhouses. It says restoration in progress. See that sign? Yeah. Pretty neat though. That old house. This is probably the same house. No, that's got to be a chicken coop. Yeah, that's chicken coop. I don't see where the slave house is. These are them that we're walking through. Huh? That wasn't a slave house. That's what I heard. 
No, that was the person who kept the slave or something like that. Oh, well, I read online that the slave houses were all these little houses out here, and that white That's house was the house. main house. That's what I had heard. Looks like a big house for a slave. Yeah. Little chicken, chicken coop. I don't know what that is down there because this is the outhouse. Yeah, that's what I've seen. Maybe that's one of the slave houses down there. I don't know. Because it said a cross. And that's a cross. Across the way. Oh. Uh, well, I wasn't really reading too much into it. There's an entrance right here. Yeah, I don't think we can get in this place, though. You can look, it's hard filming through a window. where they cooked and kept food. It looks like we're not going to get much out of this place, guys. You got a window right here, though. And there's a door on the other side, too. Yeah, it ain't open though. It's all blocked. It's all blocked off just like this. There's windows all the way around. Yeah, I know, but I'm not getting much through a window. Not much at all. Kind of disappointed I wanted to go in there. Uh, oh, an old loom. Where they made blankets and clothes and all kinds of stuff. That's why they call it fruit of the loom. Because they make it with a loom. Oh, it does. That's kind of creepy. It does look like somebody's laying in that bed. Who that was? Wake up. Yeah, we're not getting much out of this one, guys, but, you know, we're going to get to see a few more. I am at 30 minutes. I am going to get this so y'all can read it. And then I'm cutting this video. Next is going to be on part two, so you better make sure you stay tuned and go check out part two. It'll be in the description down below. Um, be sure to like the video. It don't take but a second. Hit the like button. I don't see none of y'all doing it. So, um, comment if you want to talk to me. Let me know. Um, y'all see anything I didn't see? Or uh, have any suggestions or anything? Just comment down below and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So that way you're notified every time I put in a new video. 
So uh, we're going to go down here and start part two. So uh, we'll see y'all in part two.